All right, let's get into it. So, started off with some floor press. These actually went pretty well. I ended up having a failure rep because I overshot RPE, but I just adjusted. And what you're seeing here is actually the last set. Bubbles everywhere because my daughter's out there. And we moved on to some awesome Z-Press. And again, I'm using the axle a lot. My next competition has a lot of axle in it. Here's 155. And normally I wouldn't show you weighted pull-ups, but my daughter's effort on the pull-up bar is just so great that I felt the need to include it. So here's some neutral grip chins with a kettlebell. A little bit of kipping there on my part. And then my daughter just being awesome up on her own pull-up bar. After that, moved on to some seated overhead press. Again, my daughter looking like she's about to just let go of that and go flying back in the gym. But anyways, this is one of the best parts about having a garage gym is my daughter gets to be involved. So move on to day two of the week. And we were in some SSB squats up to 320 pounds. And it was 320 across the board for sets and all. Really trying to concentrate on my descent, and I've done. I did well last week, or in the, in the week that you're watching right now. I did really well trying to just control that descent, make sure I'm not plunging down into the hole too hard. Really just trying to tighten up my squat form. bit of knees rocking in but nothing I haven't seen yet so stuff I'm working on moved on to some sumo deadlifts which actually ended up injuring me I bled from my shin the uh, knurling on my deadlift bar is pretty aggressive and when it smokes your shin with what well, looks like 385 pounds loaded it hurts so I'm a little I might be a little bit on the uh, sissy side Especially since it barely bled. Upper thoracic's looking pretty crappy though, not gonna lie. Disappointed in myself for that. Moved on to some lunges. For some reason, I was having the worst time doing forward walking lunges for this, and so I ended up switching. This is my third set. I ended up switching to rear lunges, and my hips just felt super tight, which is not normal. But growing rearward, for whatever reason, like stepping back seemed to do a lot better for me. After that, we got day three, which is push press day. So you're looking at 200, 2.5. This is what happens when other people load my plates. I actually can't read what they are. I loaded them face in. So I want to say this was like 195. Sounds about right. Push pressing. Again, the weight was moving really well. Trying to be methodical about my approach on these push presses. This is another day where my coach came out uh, during his lunch break to come lift with me, which is always a pleasure to have someone stronger than me come out to encourage me. So here he is with his giant plates of steel dangling between his legs. And it was close grip bench. For sets of four. And then we ended up, I ended up finishing up at least with some weighted dips. These are no pause. And I was wearing the wrist wraps. It was just a lot of overhead that day, and the uh, intensity was up pretty high. And my wrists were actually moving pretty high. So I ended up wearing my wrist wraps for dips. Move on to day four, deadlift day. These felt so good. They actually felt really good. These were snatch grip deadlifts. Uh, what was I doing? Like 345. 
345 to 365. Felt really nice, moved nicely. Didn't feel uncomfortable at all. I'm happy with my thoracic extension, my upper thoracic spine is remaining in extension the whole time. Plus I had my wife and one of her friends out there uh, drinking beers and encouraging me throughout the evening. We were on the front squats. These were at 225 across the board. Felt pretty good. Really trying to work on my wrist mobility so I can get everything underneath the bar, get a good grip on the bar. And then switch to some. These are cannonball cable rows at 145 pounds. We did make a joke though. Maybe we should do one of the cannonballs and one of the grandfather clocks and call it the Lamps Aren't Strong. Yeah. Moved on from there to some conditioning work. And this was just trolley arm snatches. It's literally just one of my favorite things to do in the whole wide world. They're just so much fun. You do them every minute on the minute for like five, five reps or so. Sit down, BS a little bit. I'm oh, getting close to time, and here we go again. Uh, the trolley arms and leather arms. So it's, I guess it's the trolley kit and leather arms is how Rogue calls them. These are definitely worth the money. It would take a little bit to actually save up for them, but I absolutely love them. I use them almost every single day for what they offer, and what they offer is extensive. I'll be doing a follow-up video review probably in another couple months, uh, just so you guys can see all the things I've done with them and get my final impressions on the product. But definitely worth the money, even though it is expensive. I will say it is less expensive than Sorinex. Then we move on to Strongman Saturday. This is a nice early morning. No, sorry, late evening. Strongman Saturday. And I, my goal for this day was I wanted to get some good axle clean presses, but I wanted to stick to soft belt only. I've got some pretty awesome bitch and muffin top scabs and bleeding from my skin getting pinched between my lifting belt and the axle on these from the previous week. And I'm just trying to rest up and get my skin back to normal. But these all felt really good. The cleans are feeling really good. I just need to start actually turning up the intensity in the uh, in the next 10 weeks or so. Right now, just working on getting my form right. But feeling tight, getting that first pull pretty high. That one was a little bit rough. Again, I'm really concentrating uh, during log in this last workup. I set some PRs, concentrating on elbows in, doing the same thing. So this is a practice for the medley at Oklahoma Strongest Man. So I'm doing a 200-pound keg, and I'm carrying it like it's a Husafel stone, so like picking it up with my arms wrapped around it. And what you'll notice is I gingerly put them down because it's like 9 o'clock at night. I don't want to wake everybody up. So then it's a duck walk back with 200, yeah, I think just 200 pounds even. And then this is a sandbag to finish out the medley, uh, also 200 pounds. And the sandbag is to sort of mimic what's going to be the Magnuson carry. I don't own a Magnuson carry. I want one, but I don't own one yet. I'm sure that guy thinks I'm insane. Then moved on and was rocking out some sandbag tosses. The competition is five bags at 50 pounds for a 12 foot standard. I'm practicing just doing sets of five and just trying to really figure out how I'm going to do this the most efficient way possible. Obviously I don't want to have any throws that don't go 12 feet high. So pretty soon here I'm probably gonna have some sort of rig built. That way I'll be able to get feedback on whether or not I'm actually clearing the 12 foot mark. After that, move back inside, rolling thunder. So here's my top triple with my right hand. 
I don't remember the weight. Wasn't a PR or anything. No, this is my top triple with both hands. Uh, I ended up going up a little bit more in weight. I think another 10 pounds with my right, but I couldn't pick it with my left. Yeah, this is that. This is what I was just talking about. So yeah, this is, and again, not a PR. Uh, just my top triple of the night. And went to try to pull with my left, and my left was like, nope. So then I drop down 10%, do an AMRAP. And what I ended up doing is I did a heavier AMRAP with my right than I did with my left. The reason being, I, I wanted to make sure that I'm actually getting the most effective training out of both hands. And if my left hand is weaker than my right, I do want to eventually get him caught up. But for now, I just want to get stronger in my grip overall. And so it made the most sense to go down 10% from my top right, 10% from my top left, doing as many reps as possible. I think I was pulling like 10 reps on my right, and I think I got 9 on my left. But that's the end of the week. No uh, video intro or outro this time. Just doing kind of a quick down and dirty because it's already late. Uh, should be getting my next video posted, if all goes well, on Sunday.